question from yeah. Maria? Okay, so uh, Maria uh, Catalina, who was here earlier, is receiving an award from the IAAA. And so she was not, uh, she had to leave to receive that award at, at their dinner tonight and couldn't, was supposed to be here at, at, in our session. So she's going to enjoy doing that, and here's her fellow team member, and I, I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Yeah, so I'm kind of a last minute sub. I'm the uh, Chief Operating Officer of uh, Team Stellar. Great. So um, can you tell us about your exciting announcement? Uh, okay, so I, I had a presentation, so, you know, let, okay. let, let, let just uh, hook it up. All oh, right. Um, okay. Can you uh, put your thumb drive in there? Yeah, no Dane, you need to shut up. Uh, oh, yeah. get up. I'll have to get out of the last, last meeting. In the meeting? Yeah. The organizer has ended the session, and this call will be. My David. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Obviously, I don't use a Mac. <laughs> um, so, um, in brief, we do have a short announcement, which is, you know, probably going to be an invitation for all of you guys okay? to, you know, to join in. So, you know, uh, in a nutshell, I don't know how much you know about Team Stellar, but you know, bottom line is we're a collection of engineers, uh, scientists, but also marketing people, uh, public producers, VFX guys. Um, we have had an extensive engineering background. We worked on Curiosity Rover. We built a capsule for Redwood Stratus. And uh, Google Lunar X Prize is the next big thing. Um, essentially, there is you know, a bunch of people, too many countries to mention, but there is roughly 30 of us. And you know, we work with a uh, you know, laser eye focus on actually achieving the goal of returning to the moon um, and then going you know, even further. Um, long story short, Google Lunar X Prize, you all know about it. Um, it's a competition. Essentially, we need to send uh, whatever we can get, and we have decided on the rover configuration, uh, rover plus lander. We need to pass half a kilometer, you know, free, uh, a little bit more than a quarter of a mile, send pictures, videos, data, and other stuff that Google would like us to put on. Uh, we also plan on putting scientific loads, um, you know, and we'll be disclosing more as the time goes by. Um, because again, additional tasks that you complete yield additional revenue. Um, and one of those tasks is uh, to find water and move, or confirm NASA's ALCOS mission. Um, so long story short, we're not a charity, we're constituted as a business. Uh, Google Lunar X Prize is, has the potential of a single team winning $25 million. Additionally, NASA came forward with a requirement for footage of the missions, which can be up to additional 30 million. And that was a contract offer to teams. Uh, and uh, we have talked with international TV networks who are, you know, who have their own requirements and they're operating more and more. So bottom line is, uh, when you go into space, when you push for funds, you need to present a very hard business case on it. And if you have a very hard business case, don't worry, investors will come and they will get, because space means money. And now, at just the beginning, Team Stellar, or Stellar, is actually several companies, and uh, we have no intention of stopping the Google Lunar X Prize. So as this is just the beginning where a team of people has assembled and we plan to expand the team more and more uh, in order to, you know, pretty much put it, as one of our investors have said, uh, the space industry right now is where the IT industry was in 1970s. In 1970s, if you would tell anybody that you have a supercomputer in your pocket and communicate with billions of people around the world, you would be called mental, insane, or you would probably be institutionalized. Um, now, as we know, you know, people that are laughing all the way to the bank are telecom carriers. So let's see who can be the space carrier. Um, and now, here is the announcement. So recently we have announced that we have selected the Apollo 12 as a historical site. Our announcement has uh, 
given us quite a bit of feedback, and there were people wondering why we're not going to Apollo 17 or Apollo 11 sites. Of course, we have to work jointly with NASA to gain permissions to land, because if we're not precise, we might destroy the historical site instead of taking pictures of it. So, uh, for all of you guys ar around us, um, we would like to invite you to use the program which was presented to you a little bit uh, earlier, so Lunar, uh, so the LMMP, um, to help us find the land site if it would not be Apollo 12, or if it's Apollo 12, where? From north side, south side, from west? I mean, there is also Surveyor um, the rover uh, in very close proximity. It would be interesting to take pictures of it as well. Um, so we would you know, kindly ask you to play with the program, contact us after the uh, conference, and you know, let's see whatever we can um, jointly uh, work into finding that lunar site where you know, ultimately we need to land. So the benefits are very simple. Um, we're going to announce the winner next year. The uh, winning team will join us in collaboration, so it's going to be an all-access pass to essentially all of the parts that we're working on to get that mission uh, completed in 2015 where the Google Lunar X Prize competition officially ends. So we're working on the deadline. It's not exactly an infinite amount of time that we have on our hands. So if you have any questions, um, if you have any plans, worries, concerns, please contact us, contact the NSS, and let's work together ultimately on the goal of returning to the moon. Because I think that this is in everyone's interest, not just ours. Thank you. Thank you.